In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to change the background of an image super quick and easy using the new Generative Fill AI inside of Adobe Photoshop Beta. The first thing you'll need to do is grab the new beta. Just to quickly go over that, you can download this by opening your Creative Cloud app on your computer, choosing Apps here on the top, and then Beta Apps on the left side menu. At the top, you'll see the new Photoshop Beta. Go ahead and download that. Once you have that installed, we'll go ahead and look at changing the background of an image. I have a photo of a lady here with shopping bags, but she's in a subway station it looks like, and we wanna place her in a location that makes more sense. Let's say a shopping mall. Now this works best when the subject is easily identified in the image. This one here works really well, but if there were a bunch of people standing around and the focus was all over, you could still do it, but it would take a little bit more to work. The first thing that we wanna do is on this new toolbar here, choose Select Subject. If you don't see this bar, then it might be turned off. Select Window at the top, and then choose Contextual Task Bar here on the bottom. That'll go ahead and turn it on. Once you choose Select Subject, Photoshop will do a pretty good job of automatically selecting the main subject in your image. You can take your wand tool and add things if you need to, like this spot here, for instance. You can get as precise as you need, but let's go ahead and keep it to the default that Adobe automatically selected. When you have your selection, first choose the invert selection right here. Now to the cool part. Choose Generative Fill, and on the next bar, type in your description. For this example, we'll type Busy Shopping Mall. After that, hit Generate. Photoshop will then generate a new background automatically with the text prompt that you gave it. If the first option it returns isn't what you're looking for, you can check out the other two options that it created using the arrows here. You'll also see a new layer here in the layer window. This part's nice because you can easily switch back and forth to see the before and after. Also, you can color correct or adjust the two layers to fit together if you need to. It's a really cool feature and I can't wait to see what Adobe does next. And that's how you use the new Generative Fill AI inside of Photoshop Beta to quickly and easily change image backgrounds.